um, on the porch, you know what time that is. It's time for another video. It means that uh, we'll be talking some camera stuff today. And so today I have something kind of a little bit different to bring up. As you guys probably have noticed, I haven't made that many videos lately. Part of it's because I've just been busy, like I've mentioned in prior videos, but also because I'm really trying to get off the gas train. So I've been thinking about something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just couldn't pull myself to do it. I think I, think I have the right approach to it right now. And that is the, the one camera, one lens concept. Now, traditionally, you'd want to take like one camera and one lens and you live with it for like a year. It's all you shoot, right? And the whole idea is like get you familiar with the focal length. You start to see in that focal length. Uh, it gets rid of the whole like gear acquisition syndrome issue. All of that. That's all good stuff. And I was going to do that. But, you know, there's, there's some challenges with it. I mean... One, like if you start the crop sensor, do you wish you had a full frame sensor? Um, if you pick something that's really small and portable, like a Ricoh GR or GR3, well, then do you wish you had a viewfinder and something bigger down the road? And I know this is part of the challenge. And the flip side is you pick something bigger, well, maybe you don't use it as much. It makes the challenge extremely hard to do. And what I found was that there's no compromise. The other thing I had a problem with was I didn't know what focal length I actually preferred the most. Typically, my favorite three focal lengths are 28, 35, and 50, which is pretty standard for most people, but it's really dependent. If you were to say, hey, in the wintertime, what would you prefer? I'd say 28 because I'm indoors most of the time. I want a fast 28. Something like the Leica Q2 or Q3 would be absolutely perfect. For every day, kind of the best blend of everything, I would say 35 millimeters for sure. But 35 can seem a little wide sometimes when you're outdoors. And in that case, I might prefer 50 right? Um, and so I just didn't know. So here's what we are going to do starting today. What is, what is the date today? And then I'm recording and editing this video. Today's November 11th. Starting today through December 10th, we're going to do the one camera, one lens, one month challenge, but it's a little bit different than what you're used to. So I'm recording this on the Fuji X-T4 with the 16 to 80 zoom kit lens that came with the X-T5. That's going to be the video camera um, moving forward. But the lenses I have that are primes, I have the Fuji 50 F2 right here. I have the Fuji 23 F2 right here. Now I picked these lenses just so you guys know because of size. Like they have obviously the 1.4, 1.2 lenses are better. And then I also have the 14 millimeter F2.8 right here from the original like first generation of Fuji lenses. And last but not least, I have 35 millimeter F2, which is mounted on my Fuji X-T5. So here's what we're gonna do. For one month, because I don't know what focal length I actually prefer, I'm gonna pick one focal length, put the rest away, and shoot with that focal length the entire month. And to make things a little better, because I think it just sits well that it's not just sitting in digital, I'm going to print a photo every single day. So the, the idea is to shoot a photo, take some time with your camera to shoot photos every single day. And so. Portability part becomes pretty important. And then at the end of the week or maybe throughout the week, you pick one photo from each single day that you want to print. Now, what I'm going to be purchasing, and I'll have it yet, is the Fuji Instax wide printer. And the reason why is because I don't want to have a bunch of ink and other stuff like that. I know it's not the best print outcome, but it's, it's, a, it's a concept to kind of see where you're at. And I can take it with me, and it connects instantly to my Fuji camera. And it's portable, which is key. And so... One month, one camera, one lens, one photo a day, take one photo at least a day, but probably more, and print one photo a day. That's what we're going to do. And so I have to decide what lenses I want to start with. And I was thinking about the order of these, and you know, the, it, it presents some challenges because, for example, today is November, what did I say, 11th? Yeah. So if I do one month, it takes me through December 10th, right? Whatever focal length I pick here. I'm going to Disney for, a, for Florida for a week. And in that time, I'm going to want to shoot things at Magic Kingdom, which require maybe a wider focal length. But then I'm going to watch the shoot stuff on the beach and maybe some landscapes, and maybe I want something tighter. That's going to be tough. The following month, I'm going skiing in Breckenridge and Vail. Well, I don't know. Maybe I want to zoom. Maybe I want some more portability, but I can't do that. The zoom is not an option for this. And then the following month, I might be going to Paris for, for something. What focal length am I bringing then? And the month after that, I might be going to Myrtle Beach. And there's sporting events and kids' events. 
And I think that's kind of the point is to limit yourself and figure out what makes the most sense. So what I'm deciding for the first month, starting today, November 11th through December 10th, which includes my trip to Florida, is the 35 millimeter F2, which is why it is mounted to my camera right now. And uh, the camera I'm gonna be using is the Fuji X-T5. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm nervous about the X-T5 more than anything else. Not because there's anything wrong with the camera, but because it's a big camera. I don't know how I carry this around with me uh, every single day and make photos without it becoming cumbersome or like a pain in the butt. Um, now, I don't have it with me all the time. It doesn't have to live on my body the entire time. But certainly, you want it with you most of the time. And that's why the Crons make a big difference too. I want a smaller lens. I, but I thought about like, what about a Ricoh GR3X or like a like a Q2, even though I'm not sure they like a Q2 smaller than this. Um, or, or even like an like an M11 with a small 35. I thought about all these. And what I realized is before I make that decision, I have to take the gear that I have right now and figure out what focal length that is. And so the, the whole exercise for the next four, month, four months is these four lenses to figure out what I prefer. Do I prefer to live with wider? Do I prefer to live with you know, more in the middle or something a little bit longer. And then I think I'll be able to make a really informed decision, whether that's, you know, getting the next Fuji X106, whatever that ends up being, or a Leica, whatever, or maybe this is all I really want and need. Because I think what I'm hoping is that after that four month period, I'll kind of have more information on what I understand, what I like and what, what I know. And I can say, hey, you know what? I think I'm gonna continue the rest of the year or at least the next six months with this, set focal length. That's the goal. This is like the anti-gas programming of this channel, of me. That's why I've made less videos. I've been way less gas focused than I have in the past. I had a little flare up here for the Nikon ZF, I won't lie. I've had flare ups for the Q3 and M11, but nah, I ain't gonna do it. So this is what I'm shooting with for the next 30 days. And I'm gonna be printing a photo every day. And um, I think that's gonna be it. It's gonna be the findings of this lens. It's gonna be the findings of photos I'm taking, the challenges, all that stuff, and then we'll switch. And so I think I'm gonna go 35 F2 for the first month, 23 F2 for the second month. Those are my two favorite focal lengths. I'm in my comfort zone there. The third month, I might go 14 F2.8, and then the last month, I might go 50 F2, kind of the bookend, extreme long and wide end of the focal ranges. That's what I'm thinking. And so guys, uh, yeah, comment section below. Let me know, you think this is a good challenge, dumb challenge? Have you done this? What have you found for yourself? And uh, am I picking the wrong camera? I mean, is it, I don't know. Is, is something like an X-E4 or X-E3 better? I'm not sure. But one of the reasons why I did pick and stick with Fuji is because I have a couple of presets set on here and I have not shot raw. I've, I've shot raw every time. I have not edited a raw photo in two months probably, month and a half. It's, got, it's been a little while. I've been shooting everything straight out of camera and that's some. that was kind of like an internal challenge that I've been doing for myself to get away from pixel peeping and all the crap that comes along with that. And it's been the healthiest exercise ever because now I'm enjoying the camera a lot more and enjoying the process a lot more. Now it's just time to get away from some of the gear and figure out what I really, really like. This is like the deprogramming of me. All right, guys, that's it. I uh, Starting today, November 11th, I'm gonna order the Instax printer. I think it's a two day shipping or next day shipping on Amazon. And the rest of these lenses are going away, uh, 35 F2. And I go on the vacation um, for video, I'm either going to record on my iPhone or GoPro. Um, I don't think I'm bringing the X-T4 with me uh, to record any video, I don't think. But if I do, like it'll be on this 1680. That's the rules. Hope you guys are along for the ride. I'll see you in the next one.